That was nice. It's really nice. <laughs> All right, number nine. This house is for sale in Boston, uh, but it's not haunted. See, it says so right there on the side. Oh. <laughs> See, if you heard it's haunted, it's not. <laughs> it doesn't matter because the sign says that it's not, and you can't not believe a sign. Yeah. Completely well, that's, not haunted. That's an interesting marketing t technique because I don't know if people would assume it was unless. Now you got to be thinking thing. about it. But they might want to come see it as well. Yeah. So there, there could be that. Your back story there. Makes hmm. you ask what all those other houses are hiding if they're not being so forthright. Right. Right. And this is where it's an interesting tie, Larry, because you and I always talk about would you live in a haunted house? You don't believe anything's haunted, but no. I'm saying a cabinet opens, I'm putting the sign up. A cabinet yeah. opens by itself. Larry hey, doesn't care. I'll be sure to buy it from you for one penny on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right. I'm with you. All right. Yeah, number eight. There was a time in England when it was illegal to be Catholic. In the 16th century, Queen Elizabeth I determined that it was high treason for a Catholic priest to even enter England. She even assigned priest hunters to be on the lookout for any signs of priests. But they were there. They would visit Catholic families disguised as uncles or teachers. They'd meet up in safe homes with secret features called priest holes. And they would allow the priests to safely escape and hide if they needed to. Some older homes in England still have these in them. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Mm. Huh. Interesting. All right, number seven, 2021 is going to be all about the ROTJ, the return of the jegging. Oh. I didn't know it went away. Yeah. All right, everyone is looking for comfort as they transition back to more normal routines, but they still want to be stylish. Mm -hmm. That's where the jeggings come in. Do you know what a jegging no, is, Larry? They're, je they're leggings that look like jeans. Jeggings. Uh -huh. They were popular. It's like a tuxedo t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't think they ever really went out of style. You know, they're still big, uh, but I don't uh, know if they ever came into style either. I think they just existed. Yeah. I think there's a lot of younger kids that wear them. You know, that the ones that are in leggings all the time. You know. We got one here, Tori. You ever wear the jeggings? No. They're kind of out now. Yes, they're kind of a tighter fit jeans. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, it's it's you just got to go with what fits. It's all about the stretch. You know Morgan, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah, all about the stretch these days. Mm -hmm. Number mm -hmm. six. Here's a great bird with a great name, the resplendent Quetzal. Mostly Ooh. found in South America. Its plumage is so colorful and lovely. Ancient people thought it was divine. The bird is present in all sorts of myths in Guatemala and is even on the country's flag. They like to eat fruit and small insects, and here's a fun fact, Resplendent Quetzals is the most requested bird tattoo. Oh boy. What? Well, who'd have thunk? That's pretty. I really didn't know people were getting a lot of bird tattoos. Yeah, now oh, you know. Oh yeah, big genre. Oh really? Oh, it's up there. See, you've been stuck in that house too long, Morgan. You gotta get out there, get a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. What are you I doing? didn't say I'm going. <laughs> and your kids got to be like four years old by now. They practically raise themselves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's See? a little over one. Yeah, it but flew close. right by for us. Yeah. I don't know what you're it's, doing there. Get a, get it's, over it's, here. Listen, I think I speak on behalf of Larry. Here, when, okay. yeah. <laughs> when I say that next baby, a week off. That's yeah. it. Yeah, make sure you fill out the paperwork and yeah. run to find me first. You <laughs> built up enough goodwill with yeah. this one. <laughs> Number five, behold the sounds of nature. <laughs> that sounds like death. Yeah, yeah it does. doesn't sound soothing. It sounds. <laughs> there you go. Researchers say the sounds of the forest are doing more for your health than you think. You get a lot of monkeys in bussy woods. They believe listening to natural soundscapes may decrease pain and stress, improve nope. cognitive function, and even elevate your mood. Nope. According to their study, the sound of birds chirping had the biggest effect on lowering annoyance levels. Water sounds are also said to be soothing and calming because we need water to survive. We're naturally 
drawn to it. Now that just, those natural sound so machine things. What was that things. last sound? Nature. There you go. I love sound machines. <laughs> I can't stand, Every it makes night. me nervous, like I'm stuck outside or something. Yeah. I don't find that relaxing at Not all. Not at all. <laughs> I mean, what if I'm stuck outside, I can't oh, get I inside yeah. anywhere? <laughs> And a bear comes, yeah. I mean, a bird comes, and, you know, I, I don't... Yeah. I so get, the sound of God's creation <laughs> just really yeah. shakes you. I'm like just saying, inside you. is a good place to be. Right. Yeah. When you're in the woods, there's nothing more comforting than the sound of the highway. <laughs> yeah. To know that you are almost back to civilization. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right, number four, guys. Here's a quick one. Oh, no. Oh! Whoa. How about that? What the oh, heck? Oh, let go. Yeah, <gasps> some wedgie. What the heck? Imagine talking to a That's not the giraffe's fault. No, nah. kids gotta let go. Yeah. No, he didn't let go. Well, he's a kid, but still. Look at mom laughing. Uh huh. Listen, that's one of the first Look things you mom. teach your kid. If you're getting lifted by a giraffe, you let go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you really got to blame the parents there. <laughs> oh, we the almost lost him. Uh, oh, that's why you have fun. multiple kids. That's right. <laughs> oh, all right, number three. Here's a fun fact. Is it octopuses or octopi? I think we went over this recently. Did we? Right? Did I say that wrong? <laughs> no, no, you said no. it wonderfully. I think it was the former. Okay. They're just like us. They dream. Some, some octopus scientists have been studying this for a while now. During periods of active sleep, octopuses' skin color changes and their bodies twitch. They don't dream for a long time, usually just a minute or so. Not sure what they dream about. That's not known for now, but if you're interested in finding out more, you can read all about it in the Journal of Science. Mm, oh, gee, yes. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah. All right, number two, a massive hack of a surveillance camera company has some people wondering whether they really want cameras at their home and office. The Hacking Collective was able to access live feeds of 150,000 surveillance cameras from the company Ricotta. In one scene, they could see a woman in a hospital room watching over someone sleeping in intensive care. Another video showed a father and his three kids doing a puzzle in their playroom. Others showed classrooms and jails. Privacy experts say these internet connected cameras are really vulnerable. Jeez. One law expert said, our desire oh, for some crazy. fake sense of security is its own security threat. Wowie. Mm-hmm. But if you're not doing anything wrong, you don't have to worry about anything. Well, Boy, you guys are awfully quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, huh. You guys are up to something. Yeah. You know? All right, number one, this is an older clip, but it shows how amazing Pomeranians can be on these dog obstacle courses. This is Gabby winning the title at the WKC Masters Agility. And keep an eye for the old weave poles. Leave, not leaving, not leaving. Look at this dog walk. Whoa, what speed on that dog walk. Redirects a little bit, make sure they get that. Push, push, Ooh. push. Whee. Into that tunnel. Nice Whoa. Change. Get to the back side of this jump. Andrea, hang in there. She thought maybe she might have got lost for a quick second. Gabby has push, to be pushed. There we go. Give me some of those weave balls. It's just time. That's time. It's just time. Wow. Look at this. Okay. We're taking the long way around everything, it looks like. But this is a young, young dog. Through the weave balls. What? Come on. Wow. That was exciting. Look at that. Come on. Wow. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 That's pretty cool. All right. That was a winner. Nine and nine right. in the book. Nine and nine. We've got temperatures today making it into the.